this too much. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, what's up? So today's video is going to be a conspiracy theory video about space. What are they keeping from us? Are there ancient ruins on Mars? Is there life on other planets? What is really out there? If you're new to my channel and you like my content, hit that subscribe button along with the bell notifications to know when I post new videos. And you like this video, hit that like button. Also up in the cards, there is a playlist of other conspiracy theory videos that I have made. Go check them out after this if you like them. So I first want to start off with the original space conspiracy theory that first came out, the moon landing. See, conspiracy theorists believe the moon landing was faked because of photos, the way the lights were, the way the stars were. In some of the photos, you can see the crosshairs behind objects, like they were placed there, like they never went to the moon. If you look at the rock right here, it looks like aliens understand the English language, or that was just a mistake. And then some say that you can't even see the stars in the background. It's just plain out black. And then they came to debunking that has to do with the exposure of light during the pictures while they're being taken. There's more of the pictures that were taken during the moon landing, and you can be the judge of that. Now let's skip a few years between 1975 and 1977 where there are tapes from the space explorations have gone missing. Now tell me, how does a high-class government organization lose video evidence of the space mission? When NASA admitted that it had lost, lost the original footage of man's first steps on the moon. For NASA to come out and say that all the tapes were erased, someone had to physically go and erase it. So this isn't just one tape. This is rooms of tape labeled Apollo 11 moon landing. Unless they have the tapes and they're just saying they're missing to keep something secret. A spacecraft known as the Rosetta Probe was launched in 2004 and set on a 10 year mission to catch up to a comet known as 67P and land on it for research purposes. August 6, 2014 was a set date that this probe was supposed to land but there were some setbacks. Probe didn't operate correctly and ended up orbiting the comet for two years, studying it, taking pictures, giving enough information for the scientists to research. On September 30th, the probe ended up plunging down into the comet and was destroyed. Probe was solar powered and lost all of its solar energy as the comet was leaving our solar system. But the question is, why would some European space agency want to research some random comet? spending billions of dollars for a snowball. What if, what if the comet was actually extraterrestrial? Some say that the comet or alien spacecraft was sending signals as it was passing through our solar system. The Europeans were trying to study the spaceship and played off as a comet. There were rumors that the outside of the comet had mechanical parts on the foreign terrain. And then there was some metallic hovering disc like a UFO hovering above the rock. What was so special about this one random comet? I don't know if we have another truth. Now this one blew my mind. It's about to blow yours. You know the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter and how the asteroids are randomly orbiting around the area? The theory is at one point a planet existed in that spot. The so-called planet is called Phanthion, discovered by German scientist and professor Johann Titus and Johann Bado. If this planet really did exist, then what destroyed it? There are a lot of speculations on what happened to this planet. Remember, these are just theories. Some say the planet was too close to Jupiter and was torn apart by the gravity, was probably struck by some celestial body, maybe destroyed by some hypothetical dwarf, who knows? Or probably shattered by internal explosion. Now what makes these theories somewhat believable or like 99% believable is because that stuff can actually happen to us. The world could end at any time with these types of things. I don't know about the orbiting too close, that depends if our orbit gets off or maybe if we're just a flat earth, but it can still happen. Think about it this way too. This could be the planet that our ancestors came from. Maybe the Anunnaki came from here. Maybe they didn't come from planet X. Maybe they came from this planet and now they're just orbiting around trying to help us out. I don't know if you've heard about Mars being at one point able to sustain life 
and that there's a joke that Noah came from Mars when it was about to blow up and then brought animals and his family on the ark was actually really a spaceship that destroyed the dinosaurs. But what if they didn't come from Mars? What if it was from this planet that was destroyed? That could be possible. Maybe. That's something to wrap your brain around. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed these conspiracy theories about space. If you like this video, hit that like button. But until the next video, peace, guys. Mm.